Here we go. All right, buddy, we're playing Land of the Free with Dan Booman and I. Say hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have the Battle of Gorman's Farm. It's on Long Island. This is where we have the Hessians are moving in. Here's the Hessians in column formation with their Jaegers out front. They have set up a battery of cannon here. The Ingles are over here marching along with their awesome commander who run the initiative and told the <laughs> colonials to go first anyway. Yeah. And then we got some... Yes, you're finally getting to see the... On the table. On the table. It's like this is a massive battle. All right, so... It's, yeah, it's every painted miniature we have, isn't it? Yes, yeah. this is all of our... Well, not quite all of mine. I still I'm have... very close. Eight. Yeah. I got enough to do 18 more. Yeah, okay. Then we got the Colonial Battery here. We have yep. some Militia, right? Yep, yep, Militia. And those are... It's the 2nd Maryland Continental Line. Uh, a small uh, unit of oh, riflemen, Militia yeah. riflemen. And Column, another Continental Regiment. Another Continental Regiment in line. We got these, uh, or in March Column. We got these uh, deployed in line. And then two small units of uh, light infantry, Continental. All right. <clears throat> so, not really Long Island, but it, it stands for reason. <clears throat> but it works. Good story. Uh, here we have the objective. Right now, it's like we have some supply parked right there that the Continentals definitely need to continue this fight. Somehow, the wagon train dumped it right there. So, they want to keep it. <clears throat> and they want to take it. Yes. Well, that is the battle. And then over here we have the farmstead, the Gorman farmstead, mm -hmm. with their well. <clears throat> and when did we decide if we did it by land of the free points? It's 270. For, I think you had 270 or something. Yeah. I had like 215, just so you can kind of see what points would be, because we're using the advanced rules. Yeah. Uh, where you get, you know, where the, you can, the Grenadiers have advantage and the, the Light Infantry are extra points and, and uh, yeah, full, full rule set here. The British have a lot of extra points. Yeah, right, right. So I should actually have some more troops to make an even. So we put the objective more on my table half to maybe yeah. maybe make, allow Give me you to a stay. <laughs> and you get a free one move too. Oh yeah, we're going to, and that's just a rule we... we came up with what well, an 18 inch move or what we're saying 12 a standard move one, stand, standard. one standard move yeah yeah okay perfect all right so that is uh how things are going to be laid out and we'll be back at the end of turn one or end of your turn sure yeah or however it's however work. we do it we'll see if it's noteworthy yeah <laughs> all right all right everybody we are at the end of turn one at the gorman farm and British forces over here. The dragoons are hauling. The commander's whipping them to action. They went flying across some obstacles. But this one unit here, he's like, oh, our horses are tired. <laughs> he had trouble getting through the weeds. <laughs> yeah, they got stuck in the weeds and picked up a disorder. The uh, British uh, dragoons right here are lined up. And they're all ready to fire along with the line unit over here. The light bobs are actually in roll reverse. They got out of order here. They're supposed to be up front, but they're <laughs> like, hey, what about us? <laughs> and the artillery right here did some great shooting and uh, yeah. put some cannonballs into that unit. Yeah, got a hit and one disorder murder. So they're doing wonders there. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Jaegers turned around and... Uh, Put some shots into those riflemen right there. Mm -hmm. And they passed their morale test. Mm -hmm. And these guys marched in column formation behind their Jaegers going, what are we doing? Looking for room. They got the junior officer over here trying to direct yep. them. Yeah. And, okay. You I just, were, yeah, I just moved all my stuff up. The light infantry moved up into the farm. These guys. And, yeah, got these guys uh, out of column and just uh, moved forward. Uh, riflemen, militia, or trying to go up where they can get some cover. And there was a bunch of foot maneuvering that far back unit. Yeah, we're in column over here. Here, and then they 
and went across the cross and crossed the fence and got over here because there were a little undermanned over here with just one continental regiment and then a militia regiment that's and then the canner left out here to dry so hopefully we'll have some grape shot ready for you when your horses come in all right let's just see where command rating is i got a oh, three plus one i got a four uh, i get well i can't that's do better three. than that so three so i have a plus i'd be equivalent of a plus four d3 d3 plus one right yeah so four and then i got the and then uh, you've got the extra so you have plus two this time right yeah for the initiative yep yep uh -oh. I have it. Good. I needed that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's got the initiative. The con lentils. Uh, We're outmanned and out again, but we have the initiative, so hopefully we'll Yeah, we'll just see some, what happens. Like, ah, get some, get some not working the way I wanted. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll be back and see what happens. Here we are. It's end of turn two. And it's. Uh, you can notice that the field's looking a little different. Over here, the uh, colonial uh, artillery was rampaged over top and then turned into a speed bump by the dragoons. Over here, the dragoons ran into some the militia horse, and ran them off the board. Yeah. And I say that was a very successful charge. Yeah. And over here, well, I, this unit was up here. Yeah, that unit was sitting right there. That unit, way back yeah, there. Yeah, the blue. Yeah. There, there. They put a volley into me, shook me all night long, but I turned around and gave them a crashing volley. And, well, they retreated. Yeah. We, our volley was better than your volley. Yeah, it was. And then we followed up with, uh, see, the guys in blue, way back there, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. They were sitting right about up here, right there. And my guys came up. He gave me a crashing volley and uh, shook me. Shaking, but you stayed. I stayed and then marched forward and unleashed a volley into you. Broke you. Mm -hmm. You haven't made one, just one, two. A two. There's the two light infantry unit. Yeah, right? your elements have both passed a morale check. Every yeah. single morale check I failed. Yeah. <laughs> my uh, light infantry right here unleashed into the yellow guys way back there the, the rifles and yeah well, outranged me outranged you and made you fall back yeah that was that was a real good volley there yeah that was pretty amazing that was what and i even had a saved combat action that i would have fired at you when you moved into range but you with the rifles you could outrange my muskets so yeah, i didn't get a shot and the uh, artillery just kind of like do 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 do. Yeah, they got nothing. Got nothing to shoot. Everybody's <laughs> running away. The Hessians right here, they marched forward in column formation looking for sauerkraut. Yep. No more cabbage. Still shopping. They haven't realized it's sitting right there. Yeah. The uh, Jaegers are getting good pay today. So they marched up here. Unleashed on those guys, and they were by the well. By pushed, the well, pushed them back. Pushed them back. Uh, they're now exhausted, and then these guys here did a crossfire over here and gave shaken. them a shaken. Yeah, was that was a good die rolls there. Yeah, you had, yeah. For the more dice than you were rolling on those two combats, you had a lot of hits. Yeah, Sixes. and I couldn't pass. Well, pass this morale check. <laughs> That's the only reason they're still there, but yeah. they're shaken. Let's see. And over for you, you had moved your one unit online right there to, to support mm -hmm. these guys. But the dragoons and this line right here. Yeah, it's just too much. Just pushed over. It pushed you back. Yeah. So we'll move on to turn three. Turn three. All right. And probably the exciting conclusion. Yeah. Uh, so oh, I didn't move my group commander. Yeah, I'll neither did I. Back here. Yeah, I'll put mine right here, right there. All right, let's go group commanders. Yep. Morale. Oh, I got a two. Hmm. Three. All right, so. Whoa. You oh, have yeah. a three to my two, so you got a plus one there. 
I have, so it's an even up die roll. It's even up, high roll. Five. There you are. I got it. All right, this is, well, let's this see what happens. This is a problem. This is a problem. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. All right, here we go. Let's see, this is end of turn three. Turn three. All right. In the turn three, uh, the British crossed the obstacle here, and that's all they could do. Is, uh, they were disordered, just getting across. It was a major mess. The shaken hurt them a little bit that they had, yeah. so they couldn't lost some. The amazing orders. thing was that these uh, line troops unloaded into the... Oh, we forgot. They were shooting into the flank, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a bonus there. Yeah, into those exhausted uh, little riflemen right there. Yeah, it's one extra die. Yeah. So no, we forgot a lot. Yeah, we forgot. <laughs> and epically failed. Yeah, epically failed. It was cinematic, though, for my guys to survive. That was cool. Yeah, it was like the shots were whizzing over the head. Yeah. Now, the interesting thing is is that the Jaegers right here, shooting clear across the board. Yeah, over to here. Over the, way over there, we're doing damage that the riflemen over, or not the... Uh, the lineman over here couldn't even hit the right side of the bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe it just bullet drop. Uh, the <laughs> Hessians, basically, the two line units right here, the Grenadiers and the Musketeers, pretty much all they did was just... They were just in march calling the whole time. <laughs> yep, they just... Where's this battle you hear? <laughs> Artillery was, like, parked on the hill. Fired, what, one turn? One turn, did a little bit of damage, and after that was just like, I don't have anything to shoot at. Yep. Because we pushed everything back. And we got too close. Uh, I th we did have the Cav run into point blank range into uh, that unit back there and then mm -hmm. leashed onto them with a hailstorm of pistols and yeah, and just a, how many was that? Three disruptions or just yeah, I had three three yeah. disorder markers. Three disorder markers and you were exhausted. Just, exhausted. Just hammered you hard. Yeah. And these guys, after the first, when they did their charge into the artillery, if you, like you said, if you had grape shot loaded. Yeah, see, I had, I had, yeah, I had cannonball loaded because I was shooting across the board. I, and I knew better than that because I was, knew you were coming in, but I didn't, I didn't think about it because I would have grape shot you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> so the end result so was, was. Poor generalship there. But when they <laughs> took these guys off the hill. <clears throat> they've basically done nothing the rest of the game yeah they were done and these guys over here your troops basically got rid of all their uh, disorders and, yeah. but your entire army is now exhausted I think except for one unit which is right there yeah it's just these guys are shaking uh, this is shaking but the rest are all exhausted yeah it's I think we're a call up there yep yeah, a car there this is, it's a it's still I mean I would say it's still a it's it's a great system, and for AWI, I think, I mean, I would think it's probably better than Black Powder, um, because it's very, the whole game is geared to this time period, and the flavor is there. Yeah. This time we used all the advanced rules for the special troops, which, uh, um, and we didn't get too picky on points and stuff. We were mostly just trying to get everything we had on the table, painted for the most part, and just getting another run through on the rules, which I think it's awesome, a great rule set. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. They're just the nuances. Are, there's a lot of stuff uh, that I made mistakes in maneuvering. Yeah, same. It's like uh, I failed epically trying to maneuver my troops. I wanted to get my light bobs through this gap, and it's like failed. Mm -hmm. But oh, objects may appear larger than the actual hole they're going through. Yeah, the maneuvering is difficult, and it's very. Uh, where you only have three maneuver orders and it takes a maneuver order to change formation, takes a maneuver order to, to move three inches in line, and then you know, you don't you don't get it's tough. And then yeah. we're packed in and then you wanna be out in line formation. That's how you're that's how you're most formidable, but then you can't maneuver around yeah. and you and your lines of sight are all blocked. Now if I could have got the force already to order to go through it, then I could have punch through the hole and give maybe another force mm -hmm. order mm -hmm. to get back online and then unleash a volley but mm -hmm. this didn't work out yeah and it's interesting how it works out because i mean you could the maneuverability of the cavalry was definitely 
I mean, you had the, definitely had the feel of that. The delicateness of the militia, you definitely had that. Well, they ran. Yeah, I mean, I mean they they were there, and but they quickly the way the mechanics of the game work, uh, it represents that well. The maneuverability of the light infantry and the resiliency of the light infantry that that plays in well. Um, trying to keep close to your commander's radius is very period appropriate. And um, having a couple good command that's what helped also for me. Was yeah, that makes some difference. Um, if you can get that, you had those two six rated commanders, which is the best, gets you the higher morale and then more likely to get more orders. And then you were rolling well enough that every time you pushed your troops, you were passing those more often than not. And so you were getting a lot more moves in, which helps. Yeah, I just especially the early on with the cav, I just pushed the cav clear across the board, yeah. and it made a big difference at getting just rolling up a flank. Well, now knowing that, I, I should have, which I could kind of see even not knowing how the cavalry played, that I didn't deploy very well. I didn't have enough on that side, but I thought I had more time to react than that, and I didn't, you no. know. It's like, go, push. Yeah, go. There they were. I mean, I shot, what, once with the cannon? Yeah. And then you were in my face. Yeah. Which I should have had grape shot, which I knew better than that. And But still, then your other unit would have, or element would have came in and cleaned them up, even mm -hmm. if I destroyed the one. Yeah. And so I'd had the same problem. And we had more terrain on the table again this time, which I thought last time maybe that was a problem. It's really not. You just have to, you just have to picture how to maneuver your units through the terrain. You know, I, I last time I was too awkward with it, but because you see, I mean, it, it adds a lot, and you got to mm -hmm. have the terrain, and you can have this much, and I think it worked really well. Yeah, and then, and trying to envision where your threat yeah. levels of your own troops with your own troops. Yep, and where that, and which order to when you activate a group, which order to move your elements and activate them so that you aren't getting in each other's way, opening up paths. If you want somebody to pass through, make sure they're in open order. All the stuff you got to kind of plan ahead. Yeah. So it's one of those games that's not terribly complex, uh, but the nuances are, are uh, there's a lot to learn to play it well. It's a it's a good game. It's a solid game. Well, yeah. I've yet to win. I'm I'm owing two, but you know what? In the end, the Continentals kind of ended up with America, though. <laughs> yeah, they sort of did win. <laughs> So Except we're to, falling down that same path. I may never win a battle, but maybe we'll win the war. <laughs> and that's what matters is like my supply lines are four months long. Yep. Yours is how many days long? Instantaneous. Grab that guy out of the cabin. We need recruits. <laughs> <laughs> Food's plentiful. We need some more uh, militia. Call yeah. up the militia. And me, yep. it's like, I need more regulars. Well, we have to recruit them off of the home state. Yep. And I could see why the British would get overconfident because it's pretty easy to squish us. Yes. <laughs> but when the uh, casualties keep adding up, yep. it adds up. And run away. Like now we would be running away and some of us would live to fight another day. All right. So cool. until the next time. Absolutely. All right, so maybe in a month or two, who knows? Yeah, before harvest, we'll do it again. All right, be heading your direction. Yeah, sure, that'd be fun. Okay, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. I enjoyed it immensely. Yeah, awesome. Another panoramic sight of this. It it looks cool seeing all this stuff laid out like yeah, this. Yeah, having it all painted on a nice looking table. Uh, it, it's it's fun to play, and the game does flow well. Uh, neither one of us had reviewed the rules real thoroughly before we played again, so we had to do some book looking, yeah. uh, page shuffling. But, um, but like they say, it fun. takes about 10 times playing a game before you really understand yeah. what's going on. And it made so much more sense this time. We both played it a lot smoother and more intelligently, too. Yeah. And then next time we'll probably try to... I think we should do an exact point balance, because that'll be... But I, I don't want you to have to not put your stuff on the table. You can paint. <laughs> For better months. start painting some more. I know, right? I was going to start my British, but now maybe I'll have to have some British defectors or something. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one.